Archaeologists have uncovered an 8,000-year-old figurine of a female at the Neolithic site of Uluçak Huyuk in western Turkey. This discovery adds to the five other female figurines previously found at the site. The latest figurine, measuring about 10 cm in height, was found buried in a pit, alongside flints and grinding stones within an ancient dwelling. Unlike the earlier figurines, which feature only eyes and noses, this one includes a mouth, possibly designed for threading a string to wear as a necklace. Archaeologists suggest that the figurine may represent a high-status individual in the community, possibly a storyteller or oral historian, which could explain the emphasis on the mouth. Initially, such figurines were believed to depict gods and goddesses. However, they were also found in the trash pits of the ancient mound, a rather unsuitable place for sacred objects. This leads researchers to believe that they were possibly used in fertility rituals to ensure successful harvests and were discarded once their ceremonial purpose was fulfilled. Professor Dr. Uzlem Cevik, who has led the Uluchak excavations since 2009, suggests these figurines might have also served as totems in birth and death rituals. These types of figurines were common during the Neolithic period across modern-day Western and Central Turkey. Over the last few decades, about 2,000 figures have been unearthed just at Çatalhöyük the world's oldest known town in southern Anatolia. About 5% of them depict females, while the majority represent cattle, sheep or goats. Archaeologist Lynn Meskel, a professor at the University of Pennsylvania who has studied the Çatalhöyü collection, suggests that these figurines might have been the world's first educational toys. All were found in trash, rather than in niches, platforms or burial sites. According to Meskel, these objects were likely made and used in daily life, carried around by people and eventually discarded. The so-called mother goddess figures found among the town's rubbish are unlikely to have served as religious icons. Uluçak is a key site for studying the Neolithic period in the eastern Aegean and western Anatolia. It had been inhabited continuously for 45 generations, with villages established one on top of the other. The mound was first discovered in 1960 by British researcher David French, and it was suggested that it could be dated to the Neolithic period based on material collected from its surface. Systematic excavations at the mound began in 1995 and continue to this day. The dimensions of the mound that can be measured on the ground today are approximately 120 by 140 meters. However, core samples drilled out around the mound have shown that the settlement continued below the current base level of the plain and spread over an area of approximately 3 hectares. The Uluçak mound has a continuous stratigraphic sequence dating from the early 7th millennium BC to the early 6th millennium BC along with layers from the Bronze Age, Roman and Byzantine periods. Excavations at Uluçak have revealed items related to textile production, such as seals, spindle whorls and loom weights, suggesting that it might be one of the oldest textile production centers in the Aegean region.